Hello and welcome to the 30th tutorial on the Codecast 2DX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to stop a sound effect. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 28. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Obviously because we're using tutorial 28 we've already got a sound effect that is constantly playing. What we'll do, what you want to do is just go to the hello world scene. This is just the purpose of this tutorial. We're going to create a function which is called a few seconds after the application has started to stop the audio. Obviously you might want to do it on some sort of action or some sort of something has been triggered. And we're just going to, like I said, just create a function so you can easily disable it after a few seconds. I'm going to say stop effect. To schedule a function you need to have a float parameter which is basically the delta time, the time between frames. You don't need to use it. It's good for animation so it's consistent whether it's on a slow device or on a really fast device. For the header that's all we need to do and then we can just go to the hello world scene dot cpp and we are literally going to just write the code for that function. So we're going to do void hello world and then we're going to choose stop effect of float dt and inside here we're going to put cocost tension simple audio engine get instance stop all effects so this will stop all sound effects so daisy back and now we're just going to call this function to do that you just do this schedule and now there's obviously there's different ones you can do we're going to provide the actual function that we want to schedule so we're going to do schedule selector now we provide the function so it's hello world colon colon stop effect you don't put the brackets and then for the interval uh, we're just going to put five seconds so after five seconds you'll stop and we don't want it to repeat and we don't want any delay and now if we run this application it will play the collide.wav sound effect repeatedly and after five seconds it will stop playing it make sure audio is full And as you can see, the audio has stopped playing there. So what we're going to do, there's this one other stop a sound effect that we're going to just show you. And that is, you can stop a particular sound effect. And the way you do that, you do stop effect. And then you basically give it an unsigned int. And I'll, what a little trick is, when you play the sound effect, it actually returns an int. So if you do, we're going to put sound int equals this and then we're just going to quickly declare sound int in hello world scene so you can track what sounds are being played and actually stop the particular one because you never know you might not want every single sound to be stopped sound is just going to be unsigned zoom in unsigned int it I believe it was called sound int now if we just go to uh, hello world scene and now it's okay then if we just put sound int now run this it will essentially have the same effect as before but it's just stopping a particular sound effect there you go it stopped that one particular sound effect instead of stopping all of them and that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to play music, so background music, which is great for games, so it builds up some atmosphere. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. All the required links for the source code will be in the description, or you can comment and directly message us via YouTube if you have any questions. And finally, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.